And today at five, we are learning more about yesterday's deadly plane crash that took place near Kokomo. Two teen brothers and a pilot were killed on Sunday when their plane went down at this rural Glendale airport. Our Rich Van White talked with the father of the other teen who survived yesterday. The small plane was making a routine landing when witnesses say it struck a large power line utility pole, then nosedived into a cornfield. Its pilot, 63-year-old Gerald Long, was killed, along with two passengers, brothers, 17-year-old Liam and 15-year-old Reese Kelly. They attended Westfield High School. Counselors were available to console classmates. What the Kelly family is experiencing is unimaginable, but in challenging times like this, we find our strength in those around us, said Superintendent Dr. Sherry Great in a prepared statement. A third passenger survived. Rescuers found 17-year-old Cameron Wagler walking near the wreckage. The Greentown teenager answered investigators' questions before being airlifted to an Indianapolis hospital burn unit. The prognosis is good, according to his father, Nathan Wagler. We are blessed, absolutely blessed to have our son, he said. We feel blessed that God had mercy on us. All three of the teenagers were members of the Flying Squirrels, a club that teaches young people to fly. Cameron Wagler received his pilot's license last month. Now the small Glendale Airport is at the center of a federal investigation as the FAA and NTSB try to determine the cause of the deadly crash. Now, according to the FAA record, 63-year-old pilot Gerald Allen was licensed to fly in 2007. His license is up to date with a requirement that he wear glasses.